The problem is doctors aren't taught how to treat obesity and how to reverse it, so they don't understand. The, those of us who have been overweight and have reversed it and have discovered the reason how to do it, realize how simple it is. So the reality is that we're raised on this idea that it's in excessive calorie consumption and too little exercise. And that model, the calories in, calories out model, is hopeless. The reason you become fat is a hormonal-based thing in which you ingest too much carbohydrate, you always have high insulin levels. The insulin levels, high insulin levels, and the carbohydrates make you hungry. So every three hours you're hungry, so you keep eating. And the key component there also is sugar addiction. So what we who have lost weight and we've helped people to lose weight, we know the number one problem, it's people eating ultra-processed food which are full of sugar. And it's a sugar addiction. It's just as alcohol addiction or cigarette addiction. You can't moderate it. You can't treat this in moderation. But that's what the diet we're told. And the reason we're told that is because dietitians are controlled by industry. And they are not allowed to say that sugar is bad for you and ultra-processed foods are bad for you because their industry is dependent on that. They can't have a discipline without the funds coming from the ultra-processed food industry. So we're at this remarkable stage in our lives where a few, week, few days ago we told that we have a monkeypox pandemic. And there are three people who have died globally from monkeypox and now we have a monkeypox pandemic. In South, South Africa, 10,000 new diagnoses of diabetes every month. Every single one of those 10,000 people will die of the complication of type 2 diabetes if they're treated conventionally. But we don't declare it a pandemic. Why not? Because the cause is ultra-processed foods. And if we were to say, if I were to say as a doctor, ultra-processed foods are the problem, you will lose all credibility as what happened to me in my trial. I was saying things that were not allowed to be said by any medical doctor relating to the future health of people. Because I said, here's the cause, ultra-processed foods, and if you continue to eat ultra-processed foods and you have a sugar addiction, you will be obese. If you have the metabolism that I've described, you will become obese. So you can't reverse that by pills because it's a behavior, it's a choice. So I like to say that I developed type 2 diabetes because of my behavior. It was my choice. I chose to eat ultra-processed foods. I developed type 2 diabetes and I reversed it, not by taking pills, although I do take metformin. The key change was that I stopped eating carbohydrates. And that was the key to reversing the condition. And all the people that we've treated who have significant obesity, they have a sugar addiction. And if you can't get rid of the sugar addiction, you, you won't save yourself. So ultimately, obesity is about hunger. And unless you can control your hunger, you won't control obesity. So no doctor will tell you that because they don't have time to work on your behavior, to change the behavior. The only thing they have time for is to give you a script for a new medication that's going to cure you. But it doesn't because as soon as you stop taking that medication, there are medications that are quite effective in losing weight, but ultimately there's a problem, either they're addictive or they have other problems. The only way to sustainably lose weight is to get rid of, your, get rid of the foods that you're eating. So it's a completely a behavior choice. And doctors don't have time to change behaviors.